have pointed out to a very, very acute uh, kind of a crisis. So what our Honorable CM has done, because of the topography of Telangana, because of how Telangana is undulating and how water actually runs at a lower level and uh, while the contours and while the uh, you know, plain lands are at a higher level. Hi, I have no idea how many of you know this. If you don't believe me, you can pull up your phone, pull out your phone and type in Google. Please type in the world's largest lift irrigation project you will realize that it is Kaleshwaram project in Telangana, which has been completed in less than four years. It's the world's largest project completed by the youngest state in India in less than four years. You know, we often talk about Chinese execution, how well things move in China, how a building was completed in 100 days, how a project was conceived and conceptualized in less than a couple of years, etc., etc. But what Telangana has done is nothing short of a miracle Considering that we live in a democracy, and democracy, you know, there are a lot of things that, a lot of challenges that are inherent in getting done. So in spite of all the hurdles, in spite of all the obstacles, in spite of all the challenges and the vagaries of democracy, our Honorable CM has been able to deliver on the irrigation front. And therefore today, the situation is such that the produce from Telangana, the harvest from Telangana is so much that even Food Corporation of India is saying, I can't procure more. I give up. We actually are now ahead of Punjab in terms of our paddy production. We have been able to surpass many other states which were leaders. Earlier, the Uni United Andhra Pradesh used to be called uh, Annapurna. Now, I think Telangana has really become the Annapurna for entire India. It's the granary of India which is able to produce enough for the rest of the country to be able to you know, consume.